today we are talking about uh, the conservation of forest and animals forest and animals and plants mainly plants and animals conservation so conservation of animals and plants are very much important for us so how can we manage to conserve it there is a magic of biodiversity which is something unknown to us because biodiversity is means to preserve it to conserve the forest to conserve the animals so it is totally called the di uh, diversity biodiversity sorry so the planet we live is rapidly changing every day we every day new plants and new animals come into the world but every new chemicals new human actions result in the reduction of plant and wildlife also where plants and animals are important commodities of human we can't survive without animals and plants plants and animals are very very important part of our life so while plants and animals are important commodities of human their preservation is also important for the existence of biodiversity in the world so while the plants and animals are very important so we have to preserve it if we can preserve them we if we can save them we also save ourselves okay so without plants and animals we human beings not even survive one day because every time every day every minute we need them and the sources from animals we get the sources of food from plants we can uh, take uh, leaves everything of plants we are using from roots stems everything we are using in the in our daily lives as well as animals also without plants and animals we human beings will not even survive one day that is why conservation conservation is the very most and the important part for human beings like us is very important to preserve them not to use unnecessarily them and uh, plant uh, and plants and animals are very crucial in fact probably the most important thing of the world today and the second part of conservation of plant and animal we have to take some main challenges to preserve the plant to preserve the animals from the pollution from the other uh, toxic or chemicals because they are all hampering our social and uh, social life means the Uh, plants and animals which are very important to us both are important to us animals and plants if they can survive we also can survive so we are we have to take some challenges for the conservation of plants and animals approximately 30% of earth's land is covered by the forest as of that so uh, the united nations food and agriculture organization that is fao estimated that fao is uh, known as the food and agricultural organization so it estimated that 18 million acres of forest are lost everywhere so they have already declared that 80 18 million acres of forest are already lost so we have to preserve the forest for this situation 
because now the second point is the deforestation deforestation is known as we know the deforestation means cleaning cleaning of the forest so deforestation the cleaning of forest areas to non urbanization and the estimation of harmful toxins into the environment so how it is happening that is the main point uh, it is happening due to increase of uh, trend in the urban development fuel food and the growth of industries if the industry growth in the areas where there is most of the trees grown so it is impossible for the trees to survive in that area because the industrial area are already full packed with the chemicals the chemicals are going to the water so plants are giving water to the uh, as a food for plants so the chemical water can't be good for animals and plants both so this is the main thing we can explain that is the industry increasing trend in urbanization de development and fuel food now there is another thing that is agricultural needs population growth increase for food so we need agriculture so plant why plant is important for us because agriculture we need food we need uh, vegetables and uh, from what what uh, from where we are getting it we will, we are getting it from the uh, forest and agriculture we are getting the food what we eat the vegetables we eat we are getting from the forest they are cultivating they are farming so they are coming uh, to us okay and this is also how the uh, forest is going very uh, in a very bad manner uh, that is uh, one of these are the human destruction policies okay and the other policies other policies are not many this is a one policy that is natural disaster we can't save animal life or uh, any plant life in our natural disaster so one of the example of natural disaster is a uh, uh, forest fire we all know that that uh, suddenly the forest forest uh, got fired so it is the main destruction this is the natural natural disaster of our uh, forest so that affects not only plants the plants burns but there are many birds there are many animals who are also getting destroyed by this forest fire and this is not caused by human being this is the natural disaster so this is one of the main and important point for us to we can't stop the natural disaster what we can save we can project or we can do something we can plant uh, plantation project we can uh, save the plant we can save the plant we can don't want to cut the plant don't want to harm animals so we need a clean and clear environment around us that is more important for us because if they survive human beings will also survive now there are some for this reason our government has taken some uh, policies that is the globally it is taken the policies the globally the policies has taken so the policies are uh, uh, policies of uh, conservation of plants and animals so globally governments have taken measures to prevent the loss of forest and wildlife this is a great initiative of our government that they want to save 
our forest, our plant, our trees, our wildlife, so we can save it. So they started in addition to the regulations and policies pretending to the cutting trees. Unnecessarily, most people cut down trees. That is not important. And that is not necessary all the way. Yes, wood unnecessary. But every time unnecessary, we can't cut the trees or anything. Okay, that's why government has takes takes measures about the plantation or a plant in a plantation project that is in addition to regularization and policies pretending the cutting trees and hunting of animals is also prohibited now previous days we used to hunt animals but decreasing of the hunting procedure we can save we are the government and we are also trying to save the tigers of Sundarban and all. We want to preserve the tigers because the tigers are missing nowadays. So hunting of any animals and cutting of trees are very much uh, prohibited for the government in the rule of government and this is a very very good initiative uh, step taken by our uh, respectable government so our government have established uh, established to how we can preserve the uh, wild uh, life or preserve the animals so we can't preserve any animals into a cage into a, a room so we they have taken government has taken a uh, thing that animals can uh, loiter or animals can uh, easily move like a jungle so they have created the they have established actually the centuries and national parks and biosphere reserves which are plantation cultivation and deforestation processor these are the plantation deforestation and biosphere reserves where plant where gazing, hunting, poaching and other activities and that decreases plant and wildlife are prohibited. So in the centuries, in the national parks, we can go, we can see the animals, we can see the wild animals, we can do, uh, uh, take snaps, photos, but there is not allowed nowadays they have prohibited also the camera also because animals are affected in the camera. So we can see the animals in the natural sanctuaries, in the national park and all. So they ha have and we can't get down also. We can't get down uh, to uh, see the lion, to see the um, tiger because in sanctuary or national park they all open. They are all uh, faced in open area. Okay, so we are not allowed to take a snap also of the uh, animals. So this is the sanctuaries and national parks are the preservation for animals. So this is the main thing where we can save our natural atmosphere of conservation of plants and animals so uh, from this we have already uh, seen that natural uh, apart from that after government has taken this decision there are 90% uh, uh, hunting and cutting of cutting down trees are banded so we can save so the next project recently one project has introduced that is the plantation project that is uh, started in 2015 
2015-15th uh, um, March. So, government has taken decision to plant uh, plant some uh, plantation project to different places, go there and planting different places. So, these are the main things. Now, we have to conservation our forest as well as animals also. Forest means trees and plants and animals, so animals, all kinds of animals. So, conservation of this, there are many steps. So, the steps are about 17 full grown tree, trees are needed to make one ton of paper. So, wh where we can uh, take paper, where we can get paper, paper we can get from plant to we have to cut plant and take uh, paper. We have to cut plant and by the process we can get the paper and the paper manufacturing releases harmful toxins into the environment. So, while we are making the paper, there are very harmful toxin, toxins are mixing in the environment which are hampering this. Saving, reserving and recycling paper can be instrumental in conservation of plant life. So these are the two things, recycling of paper and uh, saving, resuming is the instrumental process of conservation of plant. Reforestation or the plantation of trees where there is a decline is also important. Plantation trees of the plant species and the same number of those who are cut will remain balanced in the forest. So, who are cutting the trees, who are cutting the plants for the papers or some wooden furniture we make. So, there are some restrictions that we can cut this to this amount, this to this amount we have to be saved. So in this way, we can save our forest and our animals as well as, and we can save ourselves also for the environment and all.